So you're wondering, if I don't lap valves, what the heck am I doing with a lapping stick in some of my videos when I'm doing this? Well, I'm not actually doing this to lap in the valves, and I'm not even using any lapping compound. But what I have done is put a little bit of magic marker on the seat and on the valve face. When I put the valve on the seat and do the lapping motion, the magic marker rubs off the valve and the seat where they're contacting each other. This helps me visually see where my seat is contacting the valve face so I know whether to increase or decrease the diameter of my cutter. In addition, it gives me a visual of the location of my seat angles on the valve seat so that when doing any follow-up cutting operations like this, I can see how close I am to cutting into the seat angle. Again, everybody has a different opinion about lapping valves, but my opinion is that there's no reason to lap the valves if your machine work is precise and accurate. 